Hey guys, today we're diving into a topic that can revolutionize the communication with your kids. Get ready to master the art of talking so that your child listens. And trust me, you don't want to miss this video. Hit that subscribe button and let's jump right in. All right, so let's talk about tone. It's the secret sauce of communication. It's not just about what we say, but how we say it truly matters. Our tone carries the emotional essence behind our words. Imagine it's like the magic wand that casts a spell on our little listeners. So why does tone wield so much power? Well, it sets the stage for how your child perceives your messages. The right tone can make them feel understood, loved, and secure. While the wrong tone, well, let's just say that could summon a tiny rebellion. When we communicate, only 7% is what we actually say. 55% is nonverbal, things like body language, eye contact, etc. And 38% is your tone of voice. This means that the tone of your voice is more important than what you actually say. And the secret to getting your child to listen lies in building a strong connection. And guess what? Your tone is the bridge that connects your heart to theirs. It's like having a secret language that speaks directly to their soul. So let's explore tone. Picture it like a rainbow of emotions from gentle and calming, to the firm yet fair, and to the stormy and the loud. Each of it has its purpose. I know we all have those moments when our emotions go wild, but the key is recognizing it and finding your tone taming strategies. So let's sprinkle a little empathy into the mix, mirror your child's emotions with the right tone, and it can be pure magic. It shows them that you truly understand how they feel. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna give you some real life examples. I may be a little extreme here, but you understand, I'm trying to get the point across. So the first example, your child says, can I have a cookie? And you yell back, you're not having a cookie, get out of the kitchen. Your tone is harsh and angry. Maybe a little bit of an overreaction because you had a rough day at work. I understand uh, you're trying to get your point across, but you also just showed your child to respond angrily when somebody asks you a question. We want our children to respect us, but that doesn't mean fear us. So here's another example. Your child says, can I have a cookie? And you say back, well, I don't know if a cookie is the best thing right now. I mean, I know you had a cookie yesterday, but I'm just not sure if it's something that we should do right now. This is very passive and over time, you will have a child walking all over you and controlling every situation. Let's look at a third example. Your child says, can I have a cookie? You first acknowledge their desire. I know you want a cookie and those cookies look really good, but it's important that we eat good food before bad and we're going to be having dinner soon, maybe another time. Can you help me get the table set for dinner? So in this example, you showed some empathy, you stood firm, you held your boundaries, all while having a calm yet firm voice. In general, being calm and firm is often the best tone when dealing with discipline, boundaries, rules, or other serious matters. It's not the only choice, but it's usually a good one. Our tone can have an emotional effect on others. Now, imagine your child gets home from school and yells excitedly, Dad, you're home! And your response is, yep, uh, got home uh, early from work. Your child was obviously excited to be home and to see you. What if your response matched theirs and you energetically said, yeah, I came home early, how was school today? That tone is obviously much different from the previous one. And as such, your child is going to interpret your response differently. The purpose of this video isn't to tell you that if you aren't always excited, happy, or calm, that you're somehow doing something wrong. But I do want you to be mindful of how much your tone affects the people around you. Remember, your tone is 38% of communication. It's all about creating harmony and 
connection. And tone is an awesome way to do that. It's okay to have days off. We're all human. Just keep practicing and you'll master the art of tone in no time. I would love to hear from you. Is tone something that you're aware of? Do you notice your change in tone affecting how you communicate? Leave your feedback in the comment section below. If you wanna learn more about how Dad University membership can help you, be sure to visit daduniversity.com. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with someone that you think might enjoy it. We'll see you next time.